What if God were to promise you on this very day, I swear I will bless you. It's so easy to gloss over the following verses, but their significance will mark you. It'll change you, it'll anchor you, if you will just believe. It will change the trajectory of your destiny. You see, I made a choice to declare the operation of these verses to be in full effect in my life. And I offer you this opportunity today, according to the promise of the Almighty God to you and to me. You might remember the story when Abraham trusted God to lay down Isaac, his beloved son, on the altar. And then in Genesis 22, 16 and 17, God says this. He said, by myself, I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and you have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing, I will bless you and multiplying, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. God said, by myself, I have sworn, I will bless you because you have obeyed my voice. Hmm. You see, God had already promised Abraham in Genesis 12. He'd already given an amazing promise to him. I will make you a great nation. I'll bless you. I'll make your name great. You shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And you might ask, what does that have to do with me? How does that affect me? Well, you see, our inheritance has been passed down. Because of this act of surrender by our forefather Abraham, now we are heirs to what God swore to Abraham. Follow this. In Galatians 3, verse 14, that's the New Testament. It says that he, God, has redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles. That's us through Christ Jesus. So that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. How would we feel if this very day God told us audibly, specifically, and clearly, I swear I will bless you? What if he said, wherever you go, whatever you do, whomever you meet, I am going to bless your life. I swear I will bless you. Wow. Would the magnitude of those words stun us? Would it cause us to fall to our knees? Would we believe it? In the midst of the storm and as we face the onslaught of our lives, as we put our hands to the plow and during our point of conflict when we are up against an attack that we cannot control, when our dreams are lost, when relationships fail and we can't discern the path that we are to take, those words, those would be like water in a thirsty time, a much needed anchor to steady our hope, but will we believe and receive what God has promised? How do we know that God meant that he would truly give each one of us who walk in obedience to him the abundant blessing promised to Abraham? How do we know that? Well, we know it because the word says this in Hebrews 6, 13 to 19. Follow me on this. For when God made a promise to Abraham, it says, because he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself. Do you see that? God says, I swear by myself. I am the truth. Saying, surely, blessing, I will bless you. And multiplying, I will multiply you. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men indeed swear by the greater. And an oath for confirmation is for them an end of all dispute. Thus God determining to show more abundantly to the heirs of promise, the immutability of his counsel. He confirmed it by an oath. He promised that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation. This is your consolation today. Who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have is an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. That was a lot of words and you need to read it for yourself. So we receive it today. 
by the authority of the word sworn by God under the oath of his own name. This changes our frame of reference. This magnifies our sphere of influence. This, if taken at face value, will change the very foundation from which we operate. God has sworn to bless us. The very moment we receive these words into our souls, it will change us. We let go of all ugliness, of jealousy, of all fear of the future, of all worries about finances. We renounce evil reports. We subject ourselves to the promise of the blessing. God is not a man that he should lie. I swear I will bless you. I receive it. How about you?